I was literally just talking with an American that's more progressive on Discord, and he is upset with the fact that he has a student debt. And the reason he is upset is that the government doesn't force the working class to pay for his student debt. So he's not upset that the universities that teach garbage like this and ruin the lives of young men and women by educating them into things that are completely useless for the economy and that they will never manage to get a job with a degree into something like this. No, they're not upset that the universities who are capitalistic in nature and just want to make more money, they're upset at the government for not abusing the working class more. And that's in the US. In uh, Europe, you have the taxpayer already funding this because this is from a British university. We're going to get into what they're teaching in a little bit. But yeah, people like myself have to pay for this crap. And when you have someone like Orban in Hungary who is like, okay, you know what? You want to teach this crap? Do it in private. Do it at private universities because in Hungary you can't make loans from the banks uh, that the state will guarantee that they will pay in case you can't uh, so that you can go to a university. No, like if you go to a private university in Hungary, you have to pay for yourself. So you want to teach this crap? Do it at a private university. Oh my God, fascismus. Oh, that's like a dictator. Oh, horrible. Oh, the war against the academia. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. my free speech. My free speech. Blah, 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 blah. So let's talk about what they are doing. Because such a university course, in my opinion, should never be paid from public taxpayer money. This is something incredibly niche that only people who really want to get it should get it and they should get it out of their own pocket. Like, not a single taxpayer cent should be spent on stuff like this. As long as there are still people that are homeless, as long as there are still people that can't put food on the table, why should you take that taxpayer money and give it to these academics so they can gorge themselves in luxuries? And initially, I thought that maybe this is like a course for lawyers that want to dedicate their career to animal rights lawsuits. So it's probably something very niche that applies to a profession that wants to study in a specific field. But it's not even that. Like if you're a lawyer and you take this course, it would not help you. So what is this course about? Well, it's really about Marxism. It's applying the Marxist ideology, the oppressor-oppressed dichotomy to humans and animals. That's what it is. It's trying to turn students into revolutionaries. So they outright even say that they're not going to teach you how to get a job. They're not going to teach you how to get a profession. No, they're they're going to teach you how to be a revolutionary. So they're going to give you the tools and the framework on how to view the world in black and white. And there's two types of people. There's people who are with you, who want to liberate animals. And then there's everyone else that's against you. So they, they are the bad people from society. They're the enemy and you need to do activism in order to make it so that they feel uncomfortable continuing the lives that they already have. So in other words, you know, organize into groups, uh, try to get them fired, do activism, boycott stores, that type of thing, right? So it's a Marxist ideology that's applied to uh, humans and animals, where humans are the oppressors, animals are the oppressed. And in order to transcend the oppression, you need to dedicate your life to, I guess, uh, being an animal protector or whatever buzzwords they're going to create, which they already are creating buzzwords by saying animals are non-human people, like non-human person, right? So uh, I I guess uh, a snake is now a non-human person. And, you know, like, it sounds ridiculous. It sounds batshit insane, but... With enough censorship, with enough punishment, if you go against this ideology, it will stick. I I would not be surprised if 20 years from now I see these arguments popping up everywhere. And if you contradict them, if you disagree with them, you can lose your job. You can be banned from social media. You can uh, have all sorts of bad things happen to you because you're disagreeing with the academics. And of course, you know, this ties into the meta grand narrative of eating the bugs. I don't think like the bugs are non-human persons, even though bugs are animals as well. But, you know, eating the bugs, living in the pod, uh, reduce your standard of living, reduce your quality of living so that everyone can be equal except a couple of anointed ones, a couple of 
people that will still have power because uh, you're not going to see politicians eating the box anytime soon, are you? I, I don't think the university professor, the dean, the lecturers, they're eating the bugs. No, you're going to eat the bugs. Uh, they're going to still eat proper meat. And they're going to still live like proper humans. Uh, but it's the rest of us that are going to have to make a couple of sacrifices, right? So this is uh, happening at Cambridge in the Center for Animal Rights Law. And again, it's so misleading right because everyone is a big fan of animal rights like no one thinks people should just be able to beat a kitten uh no one thinks that animal cruelty is okay but people are aware of human biology people are aware that even in the bible which was written thousands of years ago people still ate meat even before the bible if you read some of the uh legends of olympus and the greek legend you'd see that people were still eating meat even back then and this has happened throughout human nature, like even the American Indians who had no contact with Europeans were also eating meat. What this is, it's kind of like Lysenkoism, if you will, where you have the anointed one, Lysenko, coming up with the idea that evolution doesn't exist. Uh, genetics is something that the Nazis came up with. And if you plant plants together close to one another, uh, they're going to promote socialism because you have classes of plants and if you put the same class of plant they're going to collaborate with each other they're going to share resources and they're going to thrive so you don't need fertilizer and anyone that disagreed with Lysenko was uh, immediately and swiftly uh, deplatformed kicked out of universities in some cases even sent to the gulag so people just went along and they applied Lysenkoism which caused a famine in the Soviet Union because reality doesn't care about ideology. And of course, Lysenko wasn't the one to blame. It was the peasants because they didn't follow Lysenkoism properly. And it took a couple of years uh, after the fall of the Soviet Union that people actually realized what Lysenkoism has done and how many people got hurt because of it. And I, I genuinely see like the stars aligning and, and the current culture of censorship and cancel culture just being able to promote another Lysenko if things like this uh, keep getting out of hand. And of course, you know, like all of this is uh, tied to racismus and it can be tied to uh, global warming and it can be tied to every single other left-leaning talking point. I'm pretty sure you can probably tie it to abortion somehow and, and LGBT-ness, probably you can tie this as well to create the narrative as uh, the World Economic Forum likes to put it. Uh, so it is what it is. But, but, but the, the thing that I am upset the most is that this is coming up from the pocket of the taxpayer. And in America, bullshit like this is causing student debt. But no one is willing to talk about it. No one is willing to talk about the problem. Uh, no one is willing to address it. So it is what it is. And by the way, I'm not even blaming the universities for the student debt. It's completely because of the government. Like the government is backing people's loans so that they can make a loan to go to one of these bullshit studies uh, in order to... Uh, I guess, waste their youth, because that's what you're doing. The economy doesn't need you. Like, you're not going to find a job in this sector. Uh, the overwhelming majority, like, maybe someone can land a job in this sector. Who knows? But, like, the overwhelming amount of people aren't. So it is what it is, you know. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.